works by Precept Consultant Kara Beth. I have three children and have been using BJU Press homeschool materials for seven years now. We are currently going through the K-5 Bible curriculum, Exploring God's Word. This is a parent-led textbook kit with no video course available. Let me tell you though, the illustrations are absolutely captivating. The lesson plans are organized well and the lessons themselves are very engaging. I'm so excited for you to take a look inside the Exploring God's Word subject kit. This kit comes with a teacher edition, a work text, and a visuals packet. First, we are going to take a look inside the teacher edition. When you open it up, you'll find a contents page. This is where you will find a brief breakdown of what will be learned each week. Turn the page and you'll find more information on the biblical world shaping within exploring God's word. The focus is on what is most important in the world, who makes the rules and what are they, how is the world supposed to be ruled, and how can I be made right with God. There is a chart below each of these four biblical worldview shaping points with a key above that will tell you in what way each of these will be presented within the curriculum and when. Here you can scan the QR code to see a fuller discussion of these themes. Here we have the teaching cycle and exploring God's word. The process is to engage the child by grabbing their attention, instruct them by using different strategies, apply by practicing the knowledge they've obtained and using life application, and assessing the student's understanding by evaluating with the use of many different tools. On the next page, you will find goals and philosophy of exploring God's word. The course will follow the creation, fall, redemption story, and promise from God's word. Here you will find the goal and objectives. Here we have information on the instructional materials. There are student materials, which is the work text that will offer many different activities and summary cards to reinforce what is learned. There are teacher materials, which is what we are currently looking through and has all 160 lesson plans of which are divided into 32 weeks. There are also visuals, which help keep your visual learner engaged. All of these tools are helpful in teaching and reinforcing the lessons. Here we have an explanation of the lesson features, the objectives, biblical world shaping, visuals, materials needed, teaching strategies, activities, work text, answers, and summary cards. Next, you'll find teaching tips on how to teach each lesson, song, and memory verse. Each week will have its own lesson plan overview at the beginning of each week. It will cover what pages the lessons are on, the objectives, the resources and materials needed for the lesson, such as visuals and work text pages, and it will also give the assessment plan. On the next page, there is a summary for the week, which will give you a more in-depth overview of each day, the memory verse, and the song for the week. On the right side of the lesson plan is where you will begin with the lesson. You will see the objectives, biblical world shaping, and resources needed. It will then show you what you will use to engage your child, which will generally consist of the song and memory verse. Then it shows you what to do and say to instruct, which will consist of an explanation of scripture or a life application story. Next, you will move into assessing your child's comprehension. You will see the questions in blue and the answers in red. This is very helpful in being able to differentiate between what you are supposed to say and a generalization of what your child should respond with. Here are some ways to modify the assessment section. One would be to ask these questions before you begin to read so your child knows what they are listening for. Another way would be to ask the corresponding assessment questions after reading each paragraph. This will further engage and build on your child's attention span. Not every lesson will have an activity, so I wanted to show you a lesson that does. Here is what that will look like. The work text will be displayed here and will give the answers to make it easy for you to check for understanding. Each day we'll have time for a quick review. Some days will be nothing but review. This will help with reinforcing any concepts that your child may have missed. This is done by displaying visuals, asking comprehensive questions, possible activities, and assessing your child by having them recite their memory verse for the week. In the back matter, you will find teacher resources such as explaining the gospel, a song list with page numbers to find the sheet music, weekly song suggestions, plus memory verses and scripture passages by week. 
quick tip. If you sign up for a Homeschool Hub account and create a student profile, you can assign the Exploring God's Word textbook kit to your child. You can use the Hub for planning and tracking progress, but there are also course resources available, such as audio files of the songs that go along with the lessons and a digital lesson plan overview. Let's take a look at the Exploring God's Word work textbook. When you open it up, the first thing you'll see are summary cards. These are intended to be used to review the Bible stories for each week. You can see on the back side of the card it tells you which week the visual is meant for, the topic of the lesson, the scripture references, and the memory verse. Moving into the work text, you will see a parent letter and typical worldview shaping themes. Next, you will see work text pages that correspond with specific lessons, which you'll find down here in the bottom right corner. The lesson plan will also tell you which activity page you will need for that day. The work text offers a variety of activities to reinforce the Bible stories that you will teach. As I mentioned before, this subject kit will also come with a visuals packet. There are 123 visuals total, 105 are narrative visuals, and 18 of them are informational. Some lessons have just one visual and others have multiple visuals to display. Within the teacher edition, it will show you the highlighted picture of the visual that you should display during that specific story. You may also see a transition where it will tell you to display a specific visual at a different time during the story. The visuals do have a front and a back. The front is for your child to view and the back has the story narration that is also within the teacher edition. You may find it most convenient to read from the visual while you display it, or you can simply use it as a visual and read from the teacher edition. Some of the visuals also provide additional details and facts about the specific items or places related to the story. I hope this look inside the K-5 Bible exploring God's word was helpful to you. Thank you so much for joining me.